to Mythwin Bridge. Cochian River looks like a splendid soft silk strip running through green, luxuriant islands. This pure river brings silk to Vine Long and makes this land a luxuriant place, which attracts tourists. Located between two major rivers, that is Tien River and the Cheyu River. Vine Long is like the epitome of the Mekong Delta. Like many other localities in southern Vietnam, Vine Long has a crisscross canal system. Therefore, for generations, boats have been the primary means in this place. And the sandpan is the unique feature of this place. Living in the waters, all families, even poorest, have a sandpan. They travel by sandpan even from their house to the garden. They visit each other by sandpan. People call the sandpan legs of the people in the southern waters. It is easy to see sandpans making their way through rows of nipa palms reach gardens in Vine Long. The two major rivers bring silk to Vine Long to create a fertile land. And Benilet has fragrant pomelo flowers and sweet longan. Visitors will never forget islets of Tianjiang. Vine Long people for centuries have always been proud of the fruits of their homeland. Like grapefruit, longan, durian and rambutan. This land received silt from rivers to form luxuriant vegetation. Visitors will never forget fragrant pomelo flowers and sweet longing. Taking advantage of valuable resources, hard-working local people create new, tasty specialties. During this journey, we have a chance to visit a famous garden of Tame Ho and his family. In Binthwen One village, Hoa Nine commune. The first impression on visitors like us is a luxuriant garden of durian, rambutan, coconut, low ren milk apple and green grapefruit. All of these specialty fruits are successful created in this nursery. His painstaking effort not only enriches his family but also brings more income to local fruit growers. Vine long fruits attract not only boat owners and traders but also tourists, especially foreign visitors. Every day, Tame Ho S Nursery receives hundreds of tourists. Many visitors who are from developed economies and only familiar with cars, buildings and modern machines are now immersed in the peaceful atmosphere and enjoy sweet fruits. Normal things turn out to be extremely exotic in the eyes of foreign visitors who are from noisy industrial countries.
about 30 kilometers away from Maithwin Bridge, where the Cochian River diverges from the Tien River toward the Mangthit River. There is a village called Kingdom of Red Pottery. More than a century ago, Vine Long people utilized clay on Cochian River Bank to form the largest tile brick village in the Mkong River Delta. In the 1980s, people turned to making pottery for popular use and artistic ceramics. In particular, only plain kochi and ceramics have red glow with white mold color. This is the unique beauty of kochi and ceramics. It might be the reason for the name Red Pottery Kingdom. Cochian ceramics products are not shaped by hand as normal, but are cast in molds. To cast a complete product, potters have to go through several basic steps as follows. The first make the mold from gypsum, then press pieces of clay upon the mold. Each piece of product is cast in a specific mold, and then all pieces are assembled into a finished product. Next, the product is polished with moistened sponge. The finished product is baked for seven days. In the first four days, the firing temperature ranges from 100 to 200 degrees C. The temperature is increased gradually on the fifth day and the sixth day. On the last day, the temperature is pushed to 900 degrees C. After that, workers will stop burning. Seal the kiln with clay and wait until it cools down to open. Currently, apart from necessary products like jars and pots, Kochi and businesses also produce many artistic ceramic products, like paintings, statues, reliefs, flowers pots and flower vases. Kochi and artistic ceramic products are expensive. A few million to a few dozens of million dong but are very popular. Thanks to the exquisite beauty and unique red color. In Vine Long, there is not only an ancient pottery craft village, but also luxuriant fruit gardens and magnificent ancient architectural works. Among the famous ancient civil architectural works in the Mkong Delta, the ancient house of Kai Kuong in Hoa Commune, Long Ho District, is a must-visit tourist destination. Located by the Kaimanwa Canal, the house, which was built in 1885, is very well preserved. The unique feature of the house lies in a nice blend of the oriental and occidental interior and exterior architecture. This is a design style of combined French and Vietnamese architecture, in which the interior is harmonious with the oriental traditional art and culture while the exterior is harmonious with occidental architecture. The most splendid feature of the interior of the house is a set of wooden partitions engraved with images of dragons, phoenix, 
birds and trees and all are done in red lacquer trimmed with gold, giving a magnificent look to the house. It took craftsmen much time to complete this architectural work, with high artistic and historical values. Besides visiting the house, tourists will have a chance to enjoy Donka Taichu, Music of Amateurs, which is one of the special cultural features of the South. Coming to Vine Long, in addition to visiting fruit gardens and enjoying fresh fruits, tourists can register for homestay to experience life of local people. In Binhoefa commune, there are some homestay places like Gardens of Biehang, my Kwok name, my Hong and Yutrin Motel. Although these places are not well equipped, tourists feel as if they were visiting relatives. So, this kind of service attracts much interest of tourists, especially foreign ones. Some tourists also spend a night here after one day of sightseeing. This house which is typical of the Mekong Delta, gives tourists a very comfortable and relaxed feeling. Furniture is made of wood and arranged in the old style. In this cool and quiet place, you will feel relaxed and peaceful. Moreover, tourists can enjoy smooth melodies of Donka Tai Chu, music of amateurs. Registering for homestay service, ULL be treated relatives of the hosts. Although hosts and guests cannot understand each other's language, they feel close to each other. The homestay place offered by Yutrin and her family. You will have a chance to learn how to make Vietnamese dishes, like spring rolls. Although this is the first time these tourists have tried making spring rolls, they seem to be familiar with the job of wrapping spring rolls and preparing the vegetables. They find it really interesting to try making this tasty local dish. Nice and hospitable people in Vine Long are doing very well the job of introducing this land to international friends. And those who visit this land once will never forget.
the local rustic people and special dishes.